<laughs> I don't even know what to say. <laughs> when Krista creates creative juices flowing, <laughs> this is what happens to our backyard. <laughs> but I know it'll go from this to <laughs> perfection that. eventually. Yep. Yep. So I have all of these flowers that have been here um, for the entire uh, week. <laughs> They've been through a couple rainstorms, windstorms, lightning storms. Um, I also threw out uh, the patio and everything have a bunch of pots that need to be potted up. And so that's what I'm going to be doing today is uh, to get all of these pots or all of these plants into the pots uh, that we have around so that's the first thing I'm going to do is gather all of the pots that I have just everywhere um, and pot them up so and even we now have a really big pot over here so I'm gonna grab all of those pots put them together and start kind of planning out my pots better than I expected. Um, usually at this point it's too hot and they all do really bad. So I'm going to take them over there. I might leave the pansies because gosh don't don't ruin with or mess with perfection right? I'm not sure. So but I am going to bring those all into the backyard so I can kind of assess what pot I want to do uh, for what plant. So I'm going to grab those and move them out to the back.
So today's goal, these plants in those pots. <laughs> and like I said, my pansies are doing really, really well. So I don't know if I'll try to interplant with them. I know as soon as it gets hot, they're not going to do well. So, but I never like to give up on a flower if it's really trying hard. <laughs> and then um, in a lot of these pots I have elephant ears that are um, coming up. So trying to figure out, I think the next step is to figure out which ones of these plants are shade loving and which ones are uh, sun loving. And Maybe I will plant the big pot first, because that's, I think, my most important. Um, and by the way, did you see my delphinium over there? It's doing so good. <laughs> and I think my dog is back behind the bushes again, and he's not. she's not supposed to be. Dutchie, what are you doing? You're not supposed to be behind the berry bushes. Thank you. <laughs> so, okay. I gotta get busy and figure out which ones of these coleuses. Some are shade lovers and some are okay with sun. Others like more sun than others. So, that's figuring that all out. And then, I really wanna figure out which pot looks best or which uh, plant looks best for here it needs to be almost completely shade as well so okay i better get to work okay i also behind the sitting area over here i have this big pot which i'm not going to move um, and inside of it in the middle will be some elephant ears um, so i might do a little planting around it um, maybe something that like sun but not too much sun um, and did you guys see or did you hear we got our waterfall going he still needs to do a little work on it but it's coming and this, the little creek is flowing and I'll get an update from here, here, him here in a second. He is um, painting the house. In fact, let me see if he's over there. Are you back there, Jay? So he's continuing the painting all the way around. I guess he's not over there. I don't know where he is. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> I'm painting. <laughs> you want to show us what you're doing? Sure. I'll follow you. Let's go this way. Should I do <laughs> slow motion? Yes. Or should I just walk regular or go fast? <laughs> the slow motion was good. So, this is the ugly brick house we have. And that's going to be all gray. Yeah. What it's going to look like. And it's not that we don't like brick. It's that this has been patched. Uh, yeah, it's been piecemeal around on like changing window sizes. <laughs> and they tried to match the color. It was a train wreck. So I'm going to paint the whole house gray. The whole house gray. And then it'll match the studio, the shed, the patio. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty exciting. This is one of many projects that we're going to be doing this summer. Um, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to crack on. Okay, crack on. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thanks. Yeah.
got these succulents, which I think might do really good in this basket because it, last year it was really dried out. Okay, this always happens when I'm potting flowers. Um, they end up everywhere because I have a hard time making a decision. And um, I just potted this up, but then look at the mess. And who's that? <laughs> Hello, Jay. <laughs> I was just showing them <laughs> my mess. <laughs> Do you want to show them around too what happened? <laughs> Let's take it again this way. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. <laughs> when Krista Create. creative juices flowing, <laughs> this is what happens to our backyard. <laughs> but I know it'll go from this to <laughs> perfection that. eventually. Yep. Yep. Yeah, right now it's like I can't even make a decision right now. I'm in. <laughs> 
what do they call that? Analysis paralysis? <laughs> like, I, like, there's pots just kind of, uh, just, I'm just potting and throwing and making a mess. And I ran out of battery and didn't get to show you that I potted up the big pot. And I still need to do the hanging basket for there. Um, but it got really sunny and hot out here. <laughs> And so I took a break, but, um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, these poor plants are dying here as they're sitting there in the heat. Um, <laughs> and I can't make a decision over what pot, what plant goes to what pot. <laughs> but hang tight. By the end of this day, <laughs> it will be beautiful again. <laughs> oh, just be patient with me. What do you think, Dutchie? It's an obstacle course. It's an obstacle course, huh, Dutchie? <laughs> I feel like I'm making some progress. Um, we have just a few flowers left. Don't look behind me. <laughs> but it's the mess is kind of constricted to behind me. And I'm getting ready to find a few more pots for this area here but I got these two set I got the big pot set I have a bunch of pots all set for um, the entryway so now I'm gonna pot up there's a hanging basket that goes right here and I'm gonna do that right now. So you're almost done with this back wall. I was going to say, I'm not almost done with the house, but I am almost done with this back wall for sure. <laughs> time consuming with the brush, but the brick is so porous that I have to use the brush. So yeah. it's going to be quite the job, but at least it looks better than this brown brick. So yeah, we tried it with the uh, roller. roller. We even got a really fuzzy roller. Yep. And this brick just has so many little holes in it, huh? That's very porous. Yeah. So I just gotta finish this and continue on. Well, it's looking good. And my poor little uh, poppies are done. Now I'm just waiting for them to, the seed pods. Yeah. But, and then I'll trim it all back. Yep. Well, thanks for doing that this weekend. Of course. It's looking good. Thanks, Luke.
hopefully we'll see you on the next video. <laughs> That's Jay, and I'm so, Krista. <laughs> a lot of water. And it's been doing this for about a half hour now. Yeah. It's the street in the front is flooded. Yep. Lightning, thunder, and a total downpour like a monsoon, man. Yeah. Like it's crazy. <laughs>